Vanessa Joy with Breathe Your Passion here on Adorama TV, and I'm gonna show you how to make heinous looking light look all right. walk into a venue and it looks amazing, but then you take a picture and it looks like this. So here's the thing. Sometimes you work with clients and they think this picture spot is gorgeous because of all the chandeliers and this and that and the other thing. Then you go to take a picture and it's absolutely horrible. Well, I could look at this picture here and then attempt to just fix it with white balance, but it's just gonna look like this and that still doesn't look good. And then I've got a lot of post work to do. I don't wanna do that. I wanna get it as right in camera as I possibly can. So what I'm gonna look for is just finding the biggest solid surface that I can. And in my case, this is a pale yellow wall. I love a white wall, but pale yellow will do. So we're gonna point it at them. Light travels in straight lines. So back to geometry class, kids. You're gonna have to think about the angle that the light is hitting that wall. It's going to bounce off at an equal angle. If you play pool, it's kind of the same thing. I don't have a modifier in this case, so I'm just firing this light on this wall and that entire wall now becomes my light source. First shot, doesn't look so great. Why does it look yellow even though my white balance really isn't all that off? Because my light is reflecting off a yellow wall, so therefore everything's a little bit yellow. I have to adjust for that. So adjusting for it works okay, and now we're just gonna tweak our settings. Adjusting the white balance, adjusting the exposure to try to make it look good. When I'm doing this, I'm getting my exposure just like I normally would as if I didn't have a flash, and then I'm turning on my Profoto B1 and setting it to TTL. So it does all the work for me. I don't have to guess. I'm just gonna let it do the work for me. Now we're okay. We got it around where I want it to be as far as color goes, but I see some ugly shadows on the wall. Can't really do too much about that unless you have another light or maybe you're reflecting reflecting light, so I decided to just move them over a little bit so that the angle of the light isn't so bad. Because I don't have another light here in this situation, I'm using reflector to bounce light back at them so my shadows aren't as harsh and it just looks a little bit more flattering on their face. So I'm gonna scoot them over a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna scoot them over a little bit, that really helps. I'm gonna scoot them over a little bit and get them in a better spot where the shadow is gonna show up on the wall. Not just because of where the light is, but because I also move over, so I'm just not seeing as much of the shadow on the wall. It looks okay. Try to get a little bit better, cleaner background, making sure there's nothing behind their heads. And then zooming in there really allows me to just crop out the shadow. Now I've got some nice portraits of them in an area that would have been extremely ugly had it just been the light that I was working with. So you see how their skin tones are nice and soft, they're natural, that's what their skin actually looks like, as opposed to if I didn't have this off-camera flash, would it look something like this. Not only are their skin tones off and color, and again, I could try with the white balance, but it's not gonna do what it needs to do. The background is brighter than they are, so I would have had to wash out the background more. The attention of viewer would not have gone to their faces. All around, better photo when I have the light off camera bouncing off the environment around me so it's nice and big and soft and lovely. That's how you walk into a place with a really strange light and take control. Looking for more inspiration? Click the link in the description below to download my free posing guide. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're notified when new videos pop up here on Adorama TV. Leave some comments, ask your questions. There are no dumb questions and there's no such thing as mean comments. There is such thing as mean comments. I collect the mean comments so I have an excuse to eat ice cream. But seriously, don't be a